Alright, I'll go through the process of removing the old seal. And pull this impeller off. 9 16 bolt that holds the impeller. Remove the impeller, making sure not to lose this O-ring. And the keyway. Alright, then we want to remove the this brass sleeve that accommodates the seal. Alright, we have the old seal out. The inner part of the seal is in the bracket, so we will need to remove the bracket. Four 916 bolts that hold the bracket to the motor will need to be removed to take the bracket off. You need a screwdriver to separate the bracket from the motor. What we need to do is remove that inner seal. Usually you can use your fingers and push that seal out until it drops we have out. It out. And that is the completion of removing the old seal. Go. Okay. We'll just reverse the process. We're going to put the new inner seal into the bracket. Hand soap works good. Make sure you lubricate. And you need to press that seal in as far as you can with your fingers or thumb. And then you can use the end of a rubber hand, rubber coated handle, a hammer handle. Press it all the way into that pocket. And if it's inserted properly. Install the bracket to the motor. Be careful not to bump the seal with the shaft. The next step is to reassemble the seal back onto the brass shaft collar. It's very important that we clean this first. It's very important to take some uh, green Scotch Guard pads and clean it to smooth it. You want that shaft to be very smooth so that the seal will slide on it. Alright, the next step is to lubricate the shaft. There again, the hand soap works great. Be generous, we want it to slide on there. It's 
spring retainer goes on first, then the spring, then the upper end of the seal. Again, lubricating this rubber. It's going to slide on the shaft. Okay, if everything is lubricated properly and cleaned, you should be able to take the palm of your hand and press that seal down onto the shaft like so. That's what you want right there. Okay, once we have that assembly complete, we want to insert it onto the motor shaft. It's very important is that you line up this pin that's inside the brass sleeve Okay, then we want to align that pin with that the motor, the, the uh, keyway, keyway on the motor, like so. And you should be able to take your fingers, and that should spring. If it does that, that's a correctly installed seal. Okay, next we reinstall the impeller. Three or four parts that are very important. You want to make sure that you put the O-ring. I use the soap again to just keep that O-ring in place. Helps hold it where it needs to be. I'm going to take the keyway, put it in the motor sleeve or the motor shaft, like so. Taking the impeller and lining up your keyway, making sure that that rubber O-ring stays in place. And that is a correct installation right there. Then we take our 9 16 bolt that attaches the uh, impeller in place several parts. The felt washer is important, the metal washer, then also a smaller washer that is on the 9 16th bolt in that order. And then tighten the 916 impeller bolt. It's a good idea to put some Loctite on the end of that bolt as well before installing. Using a screwdriver can help secure the impeller from turning. The impeller should turn freely. That's a correct installation right there of a new seal.